Hi guys and welcome back to GHD's first ever YouTube series, In the Hot Seat. I'm your host, Lisa Potter-Dixon, and today I am joined by podcaster, presenter, mama two with one on the way, it's the superwoman that is, Vogue Williams. Hi Vogue! Hello! Welcome! I'm delighted to be here, this is great. It's so nice, isn't it? You painted my face. I did, you're looking glowing, I must yeah. say. <laughs> You've done a fantastic job. Thank you so much, yeah. thank you. And it's so great because this is our second episode of In the Hot Seat, um, which is just... Such. Two is my favourite number. Is it? Yeah. Oh, there, there you, go. you go. It's like we knew. First the worst, second the best. That's, that's true. <laughs> Do you know what it is with magpies as well? Whenever I see one, I salute. Two, it's lucky. Do you I that? know. Yeah, I salute. <laughs> but you know when you're in the middle of London, like... <laughs> yeah, I always forget which hand to do it with. Honestly. I know. <laughs> so, GHD, tell me your first memory of GHD. When was it? What was it? I mean, of when I upgraded from my mother's iron. No, you did not. I iron used to iron hair. my hair with a towel. <gasps> yeah. I thought everyone used to do that. Do you know? Maybe I did. Maybe I did, but I've kind of like got rid of that memory. <laughs> I always used to do that. And then I remember getting my first GHD. I think it was the big present everybody got. Yeah. And like, I, well, not all my friends got them. So my friends would come over and borrow mine. And like, we'd all always use that. I, like, I'd love to know where that is because I had it for years and years and years. God, it was such a good thing when it came out. Like, because we were all obsessed with straight hair. Do you remember just doing the bits at the front? And Literally. Straighten them out. I know. I was talk talking to Poppy about that on the first episode about how you used to plait the fronts <laughs> like a Lannis Morissette, just those two little <laughs> plaits, and everything else was like dead straight. So, you've loved GHD for probably as long as me. I mean, 20 years it's been going for now, yeah. which is like crazy. Wait, what age? I probably got it because I remember when it first came out. Yeah. So, I would have gotten one in the first year. So yeah. I've been using GHD for 20 years. Isn't it mad? It's, it's mad. crazy. And now obviously you're a mum and you've yeah. got Gigi and she's a year and a half, 18 She's a year months. and a half, yeah. Is she into beauty yet? Like, how's that going? Do you know what? When I'm doing my hair and makeup in the morning, I'm really quick. I've got it down to a T. There's certain tools as well I use with GHD that are just like quick. Yeah. Uh, I put her on the ground. I put my makeup bag on the ground and it gives you like a good 15 minutes. Like stuff is everywhere. <laughs> But I'm like, it doesn't matter. I've got my makeup done. I've got my hair done. And she's been happy. Does she literally paint the walls with lipstick, though? She literally just, <laughs> things are just everywhere. My carpet's ruined. But, you know, at least I'm ready. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> but talking of that, I mean, how do you do it all? Because, you know, you're so busy in your career, not only being a presenter, a podcaster, as we mentioned at the beginning, but also you have your own brand, too. Yeah. And then you're a mum. Like, how do you balance it all? Is it hard? It's, do you know what? It is really hard to balance. And there's a lot of times when you feel guilty. Um, but I work with so many people that I love working with. And yeah. there are opportunities that I really want to do. And um, we have someone that helps us. So when I'm off to work, like today, I know that they're delighted with themselves. T is in nursery. Gigi isn't. Um, but it's great. Like, it, it, it works out well. There's a lot of organising. There's, there's not really much time for anything outside of work and yeah. the kids. And that's what we were talking about earlier. Where off camera, we were saying, you were saying you're in bed by 7.30 every night. <laughs> but I think that, you know, that's probably your only time to yourself as well. Yeah. Apart from when you're getting ready in the morning. So you've got it down, you say. You've literally yeah. got it down now. And with the makeup side of things, are you just like two minutes? You can do it? I'd say I could do my makeup in about four minutes. Really? Definitely, but, yeah. I think I'm about the same, honestly. Yeah. I think I know. I'm about the same. Well, you're really good at makeup, but I just, I have my one thing that I always do, like my natural everyday makeup look. And it's the same with hair. I can be ready in 10 to 12 minutes if I have to be. Well, we've literally proved that because <laughs> earlier on you used the glide to create this look. Yes. So we're going to take a look at that and see how Vogue did. And I, I think it's fair to say you did pretty well.
I mean, come on, that was quick and easy, wasn't it? Uh, you know what? That's why I love that tool. It's so handy because it's just like, it's quick. And a lot of people just want a quick look. Unless you're doing your big glam night out with the tongs, then that's fine. Yeah. But like most of the time, I just want a really quick look. I actually get a really good finish off the Helios as well. Yes. That hair dryer is like the speed of it it is <laughs> insane how quick it is yeah and i'm so lazy when it comes to just doing my own glam day today yeah i'm like as quick as i can get it done and that's why those tools are so good Vogue, it's christmas party season i love a party i i like being in bed early <laughs> i love an early party an do afternoon you? party <laughs> tea party i'll go for lunch <laughs> you do the out at night bit <laughs> fine but when you're getting ready for christmas parties you like getting glam definitely glam down or do you ever do like half up with a few i kind of really front? just like down yeah. i do a lot of down and then loads of volume i don't know if you've tried the unplugged yet but it's the cordless yes. straightener how good for the drawers at work oh it's just so clever so good anywhere though like i literally leave mine in the car yeah a lot of people say that actually because yeah. you can actually charge it in the car you can charge it in the car yeah. you can charge it on your laptop um but it's just so handy and it's so small that actually you can't bring it out in your bag. Yeah, and it's light. I know, completely. Yeah. That's a really that's good... What you, that's such a good tip. Bring yeah. that for your Christmas party because yeah. then you can like judge up your hair before you go do a bit more of a curl. Perfect. You know what will happen though? You'll be in the toilet with all the girls. They'll be like, hold on, yeah, can you do gone. mine too? Yeah, can you do literally. Mine? Bring your portable charger. <laughs> yeah, I know, definitely. And then talking about sequins because I am a sequin queen too. I haven't got any on today. I can't believe it. But I love a sequin. Are you more like a dress, trousers, skirt? What's I'm the... more like a leather trouser. Yeah. like a sequiny shirt maybe um for a christmas party i would tend to do a dress for a christmas party and i think that if you do a dress you could wear like a baggy jumper to work and have your tights on and then like whip it all off Ooh. bit of instant tan you're ready to go yeah that's yeah. a great idea like literally layering it up yeah exactly stripping just it off bring, yeah just bring a big bag <laughs> no but i love party season but i would actually wear sequins all year round as well i do love oh god yeah it elevates your look instantly but like you can get subtle ones like i got this top it's yeah. a high street top and it's just really like a subtle way of wearing sequins yeah. okay now we're going to do something which is one of my favorite parts of this show which is our quick fire in the hot seat round so what i need you to do vogue is stand up for me okay. just a second and then if go. you could just sit back down okay great. you are now in the hot seat <laughs> I, I mean honestly i don't know why i find that so funny and i'm really upset that ghd <laughs> haven't got me those flashing lights <laughs> I kind of liked it. <laughs> du, du, du. <laughs> okay, so really, really quick fire These questions. These are my favourite questions. Okay, are you ready? I'm ready. What superpower would you have? Be invisible. Oh, that's I know, a imagine because I could nose on people's conversations. Yeah. You could like, I don't know, nick stuff. <laughs> <laughs> <That'd be> great. <laughs> I'll take that. Okay, ready for this one? Yeah. Would you rather... Have your nose as your hands or your hands as your nose? Think nose about is it. my hands. No, hands is my nose. Oh, oh. I need, I need my hands. I'm trying to think what that would even look like. I know. <laughs> Very odd. Yeah. What's your favourite thing in your wardrobe? I always love a good coat. Yeah. I'm a sucker for a coat. If I see a really, really good coat, I have to get it. Are you an autumn winter girl? Do you prefer it? I get bored of the seasons when they end. Mm. So it kind of suits me to have the seasons that we have. So summer, I love summer dressing. I find it really easy and then I get bored of it. And then we yeah. move on to autumn winter. Yeah. And I'm loving knits. Not bored of them yet. Who would be your dream dinner guest? Oh, dream dinner. Tina Turner. <gasps> Obsessed with her. Tina. She's so cool. She is so cool. My granddad went to see her in concert 12 times. 12? I've seen yeah. her three. Have you? I've yeah. never seen her live. I would love to. She's so good. Yeah. Who else? Oh. Barack Obama would be good. He'd be a good one. Yeah. And I heard uh, Bill Murray's good crack. Oh, he'd be hilarious. I feel like he'd be good fun to have at a dinner party. Yeah, I'd need David Attenborough. Oh, yeah, oh, God. Oh, Dave, come on. You have to have Dave at your dinner yeah, party. Yeah, he's so cool. Or maybe the Queen as well, because you mentioned her. She'd be so into yeah. No, actually, would be kind of terrified. The, actually, like, yeah, what you say to the Queen? Imagine how you'd eat with your knife and fork, because oh. I'm sure there's, like, an etiquette, and we'd just be like... <laughs> Every... <laughs> so, but no one can start before the Queen starts, isn't that oh. it? What if she's not hungry, and we're just sat there? Oh, I'd love that. <laughs> Imagine you had that power over a full room of people. Don't start eating until I've eaten. Oh, that's... Well, no, but they, they can start once she started. Once she started eating. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that's the rule. I've watched too much of The Crown, yeah, obviously. Yeah, same. What is your next hairstyle? Have you got any thoughts? I am actually going to go a little bit shorter. I think I'm going to go to there. Okay. Um, I, t I have extensions I take in and out. Yeah. So, like, I'm never really that concerned about cutting my hair. So, I'm going to take them all out. Yeah. Cut my hair shorter. And see how I get on. Yeah, nice. And then if I don't like it, I'll just shove more extensions in. Yeah. Right. <laughs> What is your favourite accent? Favourite accent, South African. Is it? 
I think it used to be a Cockney accent when I first came over. Right. Uh, but Leonardo DiCaprio, Blood Diamond, just... Great film. Yeah. Stunning. Yeah. Also, I quite like a French accent. My husband uh, speaks fluent French and I, I swear he he has to make a phone. If we ever have an argument, he suddenly makes a phone call in French. And I'm like, oh. <laughs> Forgiven. <laughs> I love you again. <laughs> yeah, I love that accent. Okay, what is the last thing you Googled? Last thing I Googled, oh, what was it again? Oh, uh, the London Aquarium. Oh. Where I'm venturing to on Sunday with two kids. So oh, that'd be fun. it could be amazing. It could be my son ran into me because I was showing him pictures of it. And he's like, Why are the children in the water? I'm like, They're not in the water. Either. It's just a picture of it. And he was having a meltdown. I'm like, Do you not want to go now? I'm like, Because the tickets weren't that cheap. <laughs> what are two things that you must do every single day? Two things I must do every single day. One, eat as soon as I open my eyes. <laughs> I I don't know what it is. Someone told me I was healthy because I, I'm like that. But I open my eyes at about half six in the morning, starving. I can't wait to get in. And I could be sitting there eating a bacon and egg sandwich at quarter to seven in the morning. Like, it's not normal. My husband comes in and he's like, what are you eating? I'm like, I'm starving. And then another thing I have to do, I love to train, do some kind of like movement for my body every day, whether it's walk to yeah. the dog or um, work out in the gym or something like that. I love doing it. It just like sets me up for the day. Yeah, it does. It just gives you that energy as well, doesn't it? Yeah, it totally does. Yeah. It always makes you feel better. Yeah, definitely. Surprise party, yes or no? Y yeah. Yes, and if anyone's watching, like, throw me one already. <laughs> I love this. Have you ever had one? Yes. No. I'm 36. And like, honestly, when I say I've hinted at it, I've hinted so hard to so many people and absolutely nothing. I've even thrown other people's surprise parties thinking they'll get me back. <laughs> not a thing, not a sniff. If you want to go straight down the lens and tell the yeah, people. <laughs> I am waiting for a surprise party. I don't know what it is about my birthday. Like no one makes a big deal. I, I don't need it. But like you want it. I want the surprise yeah, party. Yeah, yeah. Give me the party. I love a surprise. I'm telling you what, I'm not doing any more surprises for anyone else. Fine. Yeah. Don't worry. When Until I get day? mine. October 2nd. Okay, go on. Do me away. a surprise party. <laughs> okay, straight or wavy hair? Ooh, um, I've done a lot of straight now that I've shorter hair, but now that my hair looks like this, I'm kind of like no wavy. Yeah. I think more wavy. Yeah, it's hard to know, isn't it? But it's great to have the option. Yeah, exactly. Great to have the options. Both. 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 <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dogs or cats? Dogs. Can we bring Scylla in? Come on. Look and at her. She is, I mean, look She's like at a tiny her. little baby bear. She is so cute. She is so, so cute. So thanks, Scylla, for your appearance. Stolen the <laughs> show there. And Vogue, that's it. That is the Yay. end of In the Hot Seat. Thank you. Thank you so much. I, I mean, loved it. It's so fun. It goes so quick, doesn't it? I love the hot seat questions. Though. I always think they're fun. Yeah, they are. They are. And thank you to you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share. And we may or may not have a Christmas special next week. Ooh, so make sure you tune in. It's not going to be you, Scylla. You've had your time. <laughs> See you later, guys. Bye.